that's how you get optimal growth as well as like test and trend and food and sleep but we're just talking about the gym right now so Your boy is back and he has decided to compete in another bodybuilding show. Now I know the last few preps, we never made it to the end, but I can assure you that this prep is gonna be like no other. We are about to get stage fucking shredded. I'm gonna be taking you guys through the drugs, the dieting, prepping for a show, getting the most amount of mass possible while competing, and last but not least, training through an injury. Now, I was lucky enough to meet with a spine surgeon yesterday, and uh, let's just say he didn't have the best news for me. But with that said, let's get into this video and I'll explain everything. Breakfast of champions are also known as the breakfast of 10 weeks out. Now, it has been four years since I've stepped on a bodybuilding stage because as you guys know, I did nationals when I was 19 years old and I just absolutely got my ass handed to me. I just could not compete in men's open with the pure size that these guys had. So I went into powerlifting and I'm a true believer that powerlifting is what gets you the overall base of your physique. Squat, bench, deadlift, motherfuckers. Every single workout would just add so much density to my body that I feel going back into bodybuilding now, I'm gonna have much more dense, fuller looking muscles so I can actually compete with some of the big boys. Now you may be wondering, Mark, how are you doing this with your injury? Like, how are you doing this with two herniated discs? And guys, I've seen a lot of specialists over the last two years of my herniated discs, but the surgeon, that I saw yesterday uh, gave me some bad news. And we did a lot of tests, we did imaging, and he does not think that there's an issue anymore. He thinks that it's in my head. He basically tried to explain it like this. I have been in pain for so long that my nerve roots are learning to fire in an improper way. Because every time I would move my leg, it would hit that nerve which would hurt. But he's saying that it's still triggering like it's there when the imaging shows that it's not. So he thinks that I have chronic pain and I need to reteach my nerves to not shoot that instant nerve pain because there's actually no severe herniation that is pressing on that nerve in his opinion. So I'm going to try all these new breathing techniques. I'm really going to slow things down, let my body relax, not make sure that I tense up. And with that said, we're going for this prep because I ain't got no more excuses. So I'm going to eat this breakfast. We got a lot of shit to do today. We're also training legs, so let's get it. It is absolutely ball sack fucking cold in Canada right now, but hey, ain't stopping us. You know, we're used to this. Grew up my whole life here, so <clears throat> I don't know why we stayed six months in Miami in the summer, and then we came back here for this fucking winter lockdown, but we still got shit to do, so I have been prescribed by the surgeon to go for four 10 to 20 minute walks every single day and force myself to be in pain. But when I force myself to be in pain, just take a deep breath and completely relax my body because he's been saying that because I've been bracing my body so much that I'm actually increasing my pain sensitivity and these nerves are just really just firing, firing, firing that I need to slow down and walk and reteach my body not to be in any pain. So we're headed to Bayshore just to do a little bit of shopping. Keep these outfits fresh, you know what I'm saying? Can't forget your trusted monster, even though it's negative 30 degrees outside. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. 
Are you ready to play? Hold on, I'll literally be right back. Fine. It's a new year, which means a new you. No more being unprepared when it's time to get it on. With the Lawnmower 4.0, you can assure that you are never gonna miss another opportunity. This is a cordless, waterproof trimmer with safeguard technology that's gonna reduce the chances of nicks in those sensitive areas that we just don't like. It comes with a travel lock to make sure that it doesn't turn on during traveling, as well as a wireless charger that holds the charge up to 90 minutes, which means you can shave yourself from the eyebrows down with no problems. And do not worry if you just came home from the gym or no matter what time of day it is. They have the Crop Reviver and the Crop Preserver to make sure that no matter what time it is, you are ready to go. It also comes with a Weed Whacker to get rid of all those unwanted nose hairs and unibrow hairs. Start off the new year right and use my code to get 20% off and free international shipping. And if that didn't sweeten the deal enough, you also get two free gifts. A free travel bag so when you're going on your adventures, meeting those honeys, you won't be unprepared. As well as Manscaped boxers, anti-chafe for all those bodybuilders out there that quads just rub and rub together. So like I said, use my code and, and I'm gonna go finish business downstairs. <sighs> all right, babe, I'm ready to go. Okay. It's about time. Slowed my walking down. It did hurt, but it was bearable. So I'm hoping like just reteaching my body, unless there's actually something wrong and this the surgeon's just like completely missing something and I'm actually damaging my back four times more. I guess we'll never know. But I got this sick like Air Jordan hat because my girlfriend right here. Hi. She's she's also freezing. Um got me a whole bunch of like new raw gear and workout clothes because I started prep and it was Christmas, so she's like, oh we're gonna get you some clothes look fresh. <laughs> bought this red hat to match this red raw gear shirt which will match my red shoes and then I'll wear my black with red logo champion I mean what is the saying like look good feel good perform good every single day guys especially on prep I make sure that my bed is made I look good I feel good and that just kind of like takes the stress of dieting away a little bit more because when you're dieting you have less glycogen in your muscles, so you feel smaller, you feel shitty. But if you like really put emphasis on like the way that you look, the way that you talk, the way that you act, you can kind of like overlook that. And then when you start like really leaning up, then you're like, holy fuck, I look amazing. And then my coach will probably add in like high carb days and then I'll just look full, veiny, fucking crazy. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So I'm actually on a way to a drug deal. <laughs> I uh, need some more testosterone. We are actually taking very mild drugs and I'm gonna explain that more in when I go over my cycle is because I've actually planned two shows. But I'm gonna go over all that in detail in another video. So if you haven't hit that like button and if you haven't hit that subscribe button and if you haven't hit the post noties with the bell so you know every time I upload, go ahead and do that right now. So go and pick up some more testosterone and I'll see you guys at home for the pre-workout meal. Pre-workout meal, coach's orders is we got two scoops of protein, so 50 grams of protein. We're using the Gorilla Mind chocolate. I've actually really grown on this. Like the flavor wasn't that good at first, but it's a like it's a thicker based protein, and it's honestly like a lot more filling because my coach wants me having a shake pre-workout. It's a lot better than like the super super thin isolates that are just like not filling whatsoever. And then I also get five rice cakes or one banana. So today we're gonna do five rice cakes because I don't have any bananas. <laughs> then we go on to our pre-workout, which we're doing two scoops of Volcano Gorilla Mode. Honestly, I always say, mango's the best flavor, mango's the best flavor, until I tried Volcano. Guys, it is like amazing. Like I can't get over how fucking good this is. So that is our pre-workout. And then 
intro workout. Obviously we got the biggest shaker so we can get the most water in during our workout. I usually drink two of these during the workout. But we got EAA's Lemon Lime. They actually sent me the wrong flavor. Um, I asked for mango because I also get 20 grams of carbs during my workout, which I use the Gorilla Mind carb powder in mango. And honestly, I've been mixing the mango and the lemon lime, and it's not horrible, but obviously mango and mango works better. So that is what we got. Basically, gonna have my super non-filling meal, but that's the point of dieting, guys, and uh, head off to the gym to train legs. So let's go. Oh, leg day today, but we are pushing it because, you know, we're in prep, baby, and we got to get these legs back up to where they used to be. So we're starting with the belt squat. Obviously, I cannot squat anymore because I cannot have the pressure on my back. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back to it. We're going to simulate basically just a heavy squat, brace my core, keep everything tight, get a good focus on the quads. Just going to go up and weight each set and uh, really get a good pump. Let's get it. Listen up, cause I'll only say it once I'm gonna show you all the path If you want it bad, I'm gonna show you where it's at Yeah, how you can get it back Yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one Working hella hard until I get just what I want Yeah, rise just like the sun Yeah, fatal like a gun Shooter's gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall yeah. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the start, it's my only Same rules apply guys, even though I'm not squatting six, seven hundred pounds yet, which I hopefully will get back to. The same principles apply when you're dieting, especially when you're dieting. Like I'm always a huge believer in starting your workouts heavy, breaking down as much muscle tissue as possible, and finishing them light with high reps. Feed as much blood and nutrients into them as possible. It's worked the best for me. It's worked the best for all my clients. I really think that if you're not trying it, just give it a try. Hamstrings, you know the drill. Squeeze those glutes like you're in prison. All the tension on your hamstrings. Let's get it. Yeah, she's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit. Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket. I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress. I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it. Boomers all around say her body is fantastic. All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic. Head to her toes, yeah, they say that she's a lash. Yeah, the whispers all around say she has a reputation. Don't Leg extensions is pretty hard for me to do right now because I can't lift my legs all the way up. So I do one leg at a time because one side hurts less than the other and I don't want one leg overpowering the other one. I always kind of recommend like if you do have such an imbalance in your body parts, really focus on single leg or single arm exercises and really just focus and give 100% on that specific muscle. It's going to make the world a difference. So not going too heavy on this. Gonna do a lot of isometric holds at the top and pump it up in the 15 to 20 rep range. life tip it's like right when you get done a hamstring exercise or a quad exercise do like a quick 10 second stretch right when you're done and just again you're allowing more nutrients more blood into that muscle like the thing is break down the tissue then feed it with blood break the tissue feed it with blood that's how you get optimal growth 
as well as like test and trend and food and sleep. But we're just talking about the gym right now. So <laughs> stretch, stretch, goddammit. Finishing this leg workout with calves and sissy squats. Just back to back again, calves. I train basically every day or every other day right now. You walk on your calves every single day. So you doing like three sets of calves with your body weight ain't gonna make those motherfuckers grow. You have to train calves frequently, heavy, and intense. Just as intense as any of your other workouts. And then we're super setting it with sissy squats just to get a lot of emphasis on the quads. And just because I'm still working in the rehab, I can't really do any hack squats or leg presses yet. So it just gets more blood into those quads. So. Let's get it. Cardio time, I'm doing 25 minutes post-workout. We're really gonna work on flexing the calves, the glutes and the hamstrings, and just finish off this pump. You guys are probably wondering, why am I doing so much cardio? I'm doing like 45 minutes to an hour of cardio every single day, and that's because I don't have a job. I do social media full time and coach online clients, so I'm not moving like I used to be. So I'm just trying to get my overall metabolism up and keep moving through the day so I can burn more calories, so I can hopefully eat more food and not starve myself on this prep. Not to mention, I don't really mind cardio. I'm either gonna scroll on TikTok or watch YouTube videos at home. So what's an extra 30 minutes on the Stairmaster? So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you guys at home to wrap up this video. Just got home from the gym and cooking up. <laughs> Some fish, rice, mushrooms, and green beans. But while that is frying up, we are actually cooking some chicken. And I know I told you guys I always like to cook my meals fresh, but honestly, the coach has me eating eight to 10 ounces of meat per meal and is just getting so time consuming to cook that I started doing these like mass quantities. Cause this is about three pounds of chicken and it will only last me two days, two. So even though I still have to cook all of this and I like to cook them in small batches. So this will take me like an hour and a half to cook because I'll just do a handful at a time so it can be extra crispy. But I'll go over my chicken recipe in another video. And but with that said, we are gonna wrap up the prep video here. So I'm super stoked to actually be going through with this again. And I know that I'm gonna complete this. We're getting into the end and you are gonna see the most shredded mark you've seen in a long time. And I encourage you guys to start prepping with me because summer is just around the corner. So if you have any questions or video ideas that you want me to do along the way, we are going back to a three day a week posting schedule, hopefully going into four days a week closer to the end of prep. It's just a little bit hard right now because we are still in a lockdown and a lot of places are just completely shut down. So gonna eat this, cook this, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. <laughs>